talked in glowing terms about how Nick fans need to be patient about the possibility that they don't get a guy like Durant or Kawhi Leonard or any of the other high-profile free agents, but that they still might be heading in the right direction. Stephen A. Smith was watching. He tweeted at us he was losing his mind. And then just moments ago, as he is here, he walked into our studio. I just want you to see what that looked like. All right, we were all sitting here getting ready to do a segment. Just watch this. This was Stephen A. walking onto the set. <laughs> Moments ago, like a mob man. This man is focused. <laughs> <laughs> he's yelling at me. He's yelling at me. Then he goes out. He's searching out Jalen. He wants to know where Jalen is. Stephen A. Smith is ready to go. So the moment is here. It has arrived. Stephen A., the floor is yours. You know what? You two. Find you my man. You know what I love. You, my boy. My boys. My boys. How do you? 46. Oh, damn it. Y'all wasn't, <laughs> wasn't even born. Y'all weren't even born the last time the New York Knicks won a title. You think, you, you, I was born in 1973. 19, oh, I'm oh. Wait, wait, what, 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 what's your birthday? birthday? January. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a lie. My, my, my apologies. <laughs> 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 My apologies. You were five months old, still in the damn crib for crying out loud, and you talking to us about patience? I was and in the Mr. Detroit. First of all, I, 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 first off, I, I was in the top drawer. It's just, I was not in the. Oh my God! Man, technically, all of us don't act like this is new. We were in the top drawer. I don't know what that is. Okay. We don't hear nothing about no patience. Patience. It's nineteen seventy-three. I'm talking about when they actually liked his outfits. We're talking about Willis Reed. You know what I'm That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. What are you talking about, Patriots? The New York Knicks. First of all, we understand that the disappointment of the Patrick Ewing years because even though they teased us, the Dave Checkets and Ernie Grunford did a marvelous job of teasing us into believing that this team will win the championship, that somehow, some way, they would beat Jordan. They lied to us for a decade, but it's okay. It's okay. That comes with it. But, uh, that's right. That, and that lost, don't get me started. Started John Stark Game 7. Don't get me started. 1999, that wasn't really a finals appearance. It's lockout shortened season. You wasn't going to beat San Antonio with David Robinson and Tim Duncan. Don't start with me. The point is, since that time, they have been moribund. They have been pathetic. They have been god awful. Who do you blame? And excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. That's not the point. I'm talking mm. to you right now, okay. Mr. Detroit. Yes, sir. Michigan and all of that other stuff. You weren't thinking about no New York Knicks. Don't act like you care now. And you. I'm a Nets fan. And you. A Nets fan. From Jersey. Went to Duke. Yeah, you went to Jersey, but you went to Duke. You weren't trying to be a city. Y'all stopped caring about New York a long time ago. And you. You greedy. What I do? Excuse me. You, you, you co-sign this. You co-sign this. You know, listen. So, I don't want to hear anything about no patience, F man. F F I don't want to hear it. We were when we said patience, we were talking about what this process currently is. The narrative has somewhat changed. All of a sudden, a couple of days ago, it was like well, everybody's going to Brooklyn. Now, all of a sudden, we're saying is all options are all of a sudden back on the I table. I understand that, and I definitely support that because I think the New York Knicks should offer Kevin Durant the max, no matter what, and wait for him and build around him. I get all of that. What I'm saying is. The rhetoric, the drivel, the blasphemy coming out of the mouths of you two. Y'all need to calm down and be patient. Like New York Knicks fans have no reason to be frustrated. Like New York Knicks fans should what? be thankful what? and what? grateful. Oh, 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 what I, the I, hell is going on with what, you what, two? What, what, what has happened? But, but, but all of your teams can't be favorites. You got the Pittsburgh Steelers. What's your point? <laughs> uh oh. You root for Alabama. What's your point? Okay. Your only <laughs> no, 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 listen, 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 listen. So, no, I don't care about okay. college so, football really so, that so, much. So, it's so, great. So, so me, I, but, me, but I got to pick let, one let of them. Let me ask you this. Do you think the Knicks should retire Carmelo's number? Mm -hmm. What does that have to do with the price of tea? And it has to, it has to do about a lot of things. It has to do about a lot of things. I know where you're going. Okay. It has to do about a lot of things. Let me answer this question. I would say to you, it's a struggle for me. Because he only made the playoffs a couple of times, but thank you. But Melo showed up for the most part in his career there, and more importantly, you should want to hang his jersey in the Raptors because he's the only person that wanted to be there in the last twenty years. <laughs> Can I ask what I oh. consider to be a slightly more relevant question today, which is anything? But that said, 
the idea that KD might still come here, I had given up on that notion, and Wendy brought life to it this morning, and, and Jay will kind of co-sign that notion. Do you believe there is a way, a real chance that when we're all doing specials here, we're going to be on the afternoons um, on free agency week, that we're going to be talking about Kevin Durant signing with the Knicks? I think there's a chance because bottom line is this. Say what you want about James Dolan, and his reputation is pathetic, but he does have a very good reputation of taking care of his own players. He goes beyond the call of duty to take care of them. Kevin Durant is injured. He's not going to be playing next year. The bottom line is you could offer him the four-year max. He's going to still, listen, you could talk about he could make money, he could lose money. Obviously, I'll leave that to Wendy, but in the end, what it comes down to is to sign a four-year max deal with the New York Knicks, with the New York Knicks saying, we're going to wait for you and we're going to build this team around you. I don't mind it at all, and I don't think KD will mind that. Do, do, I, do I know whether or not that he, he, you know, he's going to do that? I have no clue, but I'm saying I'm hopeful, but in the end, what I'm saying to y'all is, I don't want to hear from you two. Uh, here's what I mean by about patience. the patience stuff. Here, here, here's what I mean about it's traitorous. Here, here, give, give this man a towel. Here, here, he's sweating. This guy's hot here. I know it is. What's wrong so, with y'all? So I, I got your back. Here, here's the thing I want you to do. Don't be disappointed if they don't get one of the top two or three free agents. If they don't get Kyrie, if they don't get KD, if they don't get Kawhi, I don't want you to panic. Why not? Because. What has happened with the Knicks is you guys have done knee-jerk moves and not had a level of patience to build something. You guys watch the Lakers and see their championships like, oh, we're going right. to change something right now overnight. Right. You drafted Knox. You right. got Dennis Smith Jr. Right. R.J. Barrett's going to be a 20-point scorer in the league. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 40% yeah, yeah, yeah. of the players yeah. in the NBA yeah. are currently That's right. free agents. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be and, so and, 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 and a lot of teams got at least 19 million in cap space. Correct. I get it. But here's my point to you. I understand it, and I'm vibing with that belief. I spoke to the New York Knicks on several occasions over the last few months, obviously. That's their plan. If they can't get a superstar, they're going to build from the draft. They're going to go young. They're not going to spend money on second-tier players. They're not spending max dollars on second-tier players. I get all of that. But that's an entirely different mentality than that, that we should have. The New York Knicks doing that, I understand it. But what you need to understand is by them taking that route, we have to subject ourselves to the likelihood that they're going to be mediocre or work for at least another three years. It's worse than Damn that. Damn it. It's worse than that. Worse? Because. <laughs> worse? It's worse. Because what if KD and Kyrie, Kyrie go to are right Brooklyn? O- are right over there. Mm. That's, that's really. <laughs> That's really the disaster. It's one thing if you lose to the Warriors or the Clippers. What if you got? What if you lose to the in-town team? Is that going to happen? That's possible. possible. It's possible. Which is why I don't want to hear y'all talking about patience, you man. You be here. You're gonna be in LA anyway. But that is a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where you I've been? never been there. Where you I've never been there. I've never lived in LA. Don't hate. You don't, don't have, hate. You don't I've never to. been there. I'm you, 51 you years old. I'm 51 years old. You You've been to. there already. You don't You've been there already. You do work there all the time. I am the one. Excuse me. Excuse me, Greeny. These dudes. These dudes are in the sunshine with palm trees and Rodeo and, and Wilshire and Venice Beach and all this stuff. While wow, you and I have been here in blizzards and they have the audacity to mitigate the goal of blame me because, oh my God, I'm tired of blizzards. Did you just, no, say, no, Gre- uh, did you just say Greeny lives in the streets with you? No. Okay. Say, <laughs> me, I'm talking about living in New York. It does you get cold here. It gets cold. <laughs> I don't even know how we got to this or what it means or that anything. That is Greeny. In, 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 in closing, I will merely say that Stephen A. has to go because he's seven minutes away from starting first take, and we very much appreciate patience, you coming brother. in. And I want to hear patience. It's going to be okay. I want to hear patience. Okay. Be okay. I was five years old when the New York Knicks but, last one. Five. But, 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 I'm 51. The, the, Yankees That's 46 got, the, Yankees, years. the Yankees got y'all spoiled. When there's going to be an NBA lottery. It has nothing to do with the Yankees. Yeah, it does. Because they've been so great when the NBA How would you a know, you non-New Yorker? I'm, I'm about to tell you. How would you know? I'm about to tell you. When there's a lottery where there are multiple teams that have the same odds, you got people from New York walking around sticking out their chest like they getting Zion. I, I, think, like, yeah, we I, gotta, I know you got to go. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk around next time I come on talking about Michigan. What kind of credibility do I have? Be quiet, Jalen. We don't want to hear nothing from you about New York. I play for the Knicks. I wish you could. Did you? Play. And unlike you, I live in New York. <laughs> the people... <laughs> talking in my ear right now. <laughs> have lost hope. Go get your Carmelo jersey. I've lost control. 
We're taking a break. <laughs> Stephen A is oh, going Steve, across the hall. First take no. starts in a couple of minutes. It's definitely retired. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs>